back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at how to create a tab bar based application. If you're not familiar, it's an app like Instagram or Facebook or the App Store that has tabs at the bottom. Each tab is linked up to a different screen, which is represented by a view controller. So we're going to figure out how to create that and set up the skeleton to build out our awesome app. So let's start by starting Xcode creating a new project and before we select any of these I want to draw your attention to these various templates that Apple provides one of these templates is a tabbed application which will actually give you well actually let's click it and see it we're not going to be using this because we're going to build it from scratch to understand it but let's give it a name save it somewhere and let's see what it gives us so this actually gives us two view controllers so you can see we have a first and a second and if we actually go to the storyboard, you'll see that we have these two view controllers connected to this thing. Excuse my antivirus pop-up. But you'll see we have these two view controllers connected to this tab bar controller. And if we run this app without making any changes to it whatsoever, you'll see that we have these two screens, more or less, connected to the, these two tabs. And the tabs might not show up, or they might show up as squares, like so. And we have some text on it, and you can click between these, and we see the text is changing. So this is really nifty to set up this tabbed experience really fast using the template. But let's actually stop this app, and let's set this up from scratch. So we can A, understand how it works, and B, customize it to our heart's desire. So let's create a new project. We're going to stick with a single view app and we are going to call this, let's call it App Store. Let's save it on the desktop. Now the App Store has five tabs at the bottom. I believe they are Today, Games, Apps, Arcade, and Search. So what we want to do is we're going to come into our main.storyboard and we want to drag those view controllers onto this canvas. So let's zoom this out. Let's expand this to give ourselves some more space to work. Let's do the same on this side. And let's click on this and get rid of it. We don't want to see this. We're going to start with an absolutely blank slate. So first and foremost, let's come up here and search for a tab bar controller. And let's drag this on here and you'll see that when you drag it on here it actually gives us a template of this as well which has two controllers already attached but let's go ahead and click each of these and use backspace to delete it because we're going to do it ourselves we're going to then click on this and set it as our initial view controller with this checkbox now we want to drag in five view controllers that are going to serve as the five tabs so let's search for view controller. Let's drag this guy on. Instead of doing that five times, we can click this and do command C and V to copy and paste. So that's two, three, four, five. Let's start dragging these out one by one. That's two, three, four, and there should be one more here. Here we go, five. Now, how do we actually connect this to our tab bar controller? Well, it's actually super simple. If you hold control and drag from this controller to this controller, nothing happens. But if you drag from this controller to this controller, you see it turns blue. Once you let go, you get these options. We want to define the relationship that this tab car controller has this controller as one of its view controllers. So it's a little bit of a tongue twist. Just let's say it again. This tab bar controller has a relationship of a view controller to each of these and we want to supply uh, that relationship here so we can actually go ahead and select this that the relationship seg is view controller and we do that you see a tab pops up here with this line connected to this view controller so let's do that for the rest of these and let's do our last one and that's all there is to it. Let's actually change the colors of these screens so we know that they're different. Whoops, we wanted blue. Well, I guess we got to settle for black. So let's do that. Let's do this blue. 
Let's do this color. I just want to make sure when we run it, we can see the difference between them. And let's do this. Let's go ahead and hit Command R to build and run our application. And we'll see that we have, once it decides to load, our tabs and our application. So this is currently the first one, which is the white background. Then we have the next one, third, fourth, fifth. Now notice there's no icons down here. Notice that these are all just item. So now we can actually set all of this right here in the view controller, uh, rather in the storyboard. So we can actually click on this and we can come down here actually to each of these where we're gonna set them. And let's call this today. Let's call this one games. Let's call this one apps. Arcade and search. Run it one more time and we'll see these names reflect our uh, inputs here. The last thing I want to show is how do you add code to each of these controllers? We have this view controller file here, but how do we set up other view controllers and how do we connect this to the actual user interface? For example, if I want to use the code to say the background color, whoops, of this is red, and if we run it, we should see red, right? But we don't. And the reason we don't see the red reflected anywhere here, and this red, this color is from the storyboard that we originally set. The reason we don't see it here is because we need to associate this code view controller file with one of our storyboard view controllers. If we come back to this and click on one of these view controllers, let's start with this one. On the inspector, if we click on this fourth tab, you'll see there's no class in here. We can supply view controller, which is the name of this file, but more importantly, the name of this class. So now if we run it, we'll see that because we're setting this to red, this is now red. So what you should do and what professionally people do and how apps are actually built is uh, either in different files or in one, I'll just do it in one for the sake of time. We want to create other view controllers. So that's three, four, and five. Make sure they have different names. Let's go back to our storyboard. And if we come into here, we can actually set those classes like we did for the first one. And actually, if you start typing, it auto completes it for you so you don't have to worry about typos. This class that you specify is case sensitive, so you need to make sure it's spelled correctly and the capitals and lowercase letters are correct. But because we copy and pasted it, all of those view controllers should now be red. And they are awesome. So that's a quick overview of how to set up a tab bar controller. Uh, more importantly, how to link it with code. Now you can move these to different files and it does the same thing. And how we can do this from scratch. So instead of using the template now, which might make your life a little faster, you'll understand what the template does for you and you don't have to use it relying on it. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did like it, leave a like below. It helps out the video and the channel a lot. Subscribe if you're new. I do Swift, iOS, and other technology entrepreneurship type videos. Um, I post regularly every single week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.